Welcome everyone. In this video, we are going to solve equation involving indices. This is the learning outcome for this subtopic. The method to solve equations involving indices is by expressing the equation to the same base. Question 1 is find the value of x. There are two questions here. Both have to be expressed as same base and compare the indices. For question 1a, the question is 5 to the power of x equals to 125. We know that 125 can be expressed as 5 cubed. Then by comparing the indices, we get x equals to 3. For question 1b, we have to express 49 as base 7 and the fraction on the right side must be changed as negative index. When both sides have the same base, then we can compare the indices, where we get an equation in quadratic form. Rearrange the equation so that the right side is equal to 0. Then we use factorization to solve this quadratic equation and we get the answer x equals to 1 over 2 or negative 2. Question 2 is find the solution set for the following equations. Solution set means your answer must be in curly bracket. In this question, the indices are 5 to the power of 2x plus 1 and 5 to the power of x, where both are of the same base. So, we can directly apply the multiplication rule where 5 to the power of 2x plus 1 is equal to 5 to the power of 2x multiplied by 5 to the power of 1. Then, rearrange the equation so that the right side is 0. And 5 to the power of 1 is equal to 5 and write it before 5 to the power of 2x. So now we can use another unknown to express this indices equation into quadratic equation. Let 5 to the power of x equals to y. If 5 to the power of x is equal to y, then 5 to the power of 2x must be equal to y squared. Now we have a quadratic equation in terms of y. Use factorization to solve this equation for y. Since we want to find the values of x, so we change y back to 5 to the power of x. Now the 1 over 5 and 1 must be expressed in index form with base 5, where 1 over 5 is equal to 5 to the power of negative 1 and 1 can be expressed as 5 to the power of 0. Then, by comparing the indices, we have x equals to negative 1 or 0. But remember, the answer must be in solution set. So, we write it in the curly bracket. In this question, the indices are 4 to the power of x plus 1 and 2 to the power of x. Their bases are not the same, but we can change base 4 to base 2 where it equals to 2 squared. After multiplying the power, we get this equation. Then we apply the multiplication rule to 2 to the power of 2x plus 2. The 2 squared is equal to 4 and write it before the 2 to the power of 2x. Now, let 2 to the power of x equals to y and we get a quadratic equation in terms of y. Factorize this equation and we get the values for y. Then, change y back to 2 to the power of x. 
and solve for x where we had to change 1 over 4 and 1 to index form with base 2 and we get the answer but the final answer must be in solution set for this question the indices of this equation are exponent 2x and exponent x and they are already of the same base and we can directly let exponent x equals to y then we will get a quadratic equation in terms of y factorize this quadratic equation and we get the value for y after that change y back to exponent x we can solve these equations by taking ln both sides we know that ln is a natural logarithm with base e so ln exponent x is actually equals to x and ln 1 is equals to 0 so the answers are 0 or ln 2 Please submit this exercise to your lecturer before class ended. Thank you.